Hey, Internet. I was kind of tired and grumpy when I started doing this, but it's it's weird how a sound check cheers me up, but it's just playing around with the audio is a lot of fun. But I'm not going to talk about audio today because, well, I already talked about how to make a video blog. I'm going to talk about why I don't go to the theater. See, I'm part of Engage KW, which is this community leadership program. And one of the cool things we do is work with a local nonprofit to solve a real problem that they have. My group is working with Pat the Dog, which is a playwright center. They help playwrights develop their plays, which can take years for something to go from script to stage. So it plays to have an expert dramaturg. That's what they're called. I didn't know that. It, it reminds me of thaumaturgy every time I hear that. Anyway, it pays to have an expert dramaturg to help out. What they want us to do is to help build the local theater-going community. See, we have award-winning plays being written here, but they are not performed here because nobody in this town goes to the theater, which I think is an awesome task, and I'm really excited about it, but I don't go to the theater either. And I like the theater. I did it in school when I was younger. I still do improv and other theatrical stuff like D&D, &D, which is basically my bi-weekly excuse to talk in funny voices. And every time I've gone to the theater, I love it. But I don't go. It's not on my list of things to do. I don't look forward to new productions. I don't even really hear about new productions. So I sat at this table listening to my group talk and trying to figure out why I don't go to the theater. Because if I don't go, how could I possibly convince you or somebody else to go i came up with three reasons but all of them were bad I mean, the first one is cost theater is expensive i live in kitchener waterloo which is right near stratford uh ontario there's a huge shakespearean theater festival there every year tickets are you know easy 40 60 bucks for a seat two people plus dinner plus driving that's a lot I mean, not it's not huge, but it's it's enough that when you compare it to a night of the movies, it's a lot. But local theater is usually a lot cheaper. Uh, you know, it's maybe it's maybe twenty dollars a ticket. It's maybe you know sometimes even ten or fifteen, which which is comparable. I mean, if you go to the movies, two people plus popcorn, you're going to be paying about the same amount. You know, and that's just snacks. I don't think they do popcorn at the theater. Maybe that's an idea we should consider. So cost. Cost really can't be it. I mean, if you're broke, then you're broke. But if you're broken, if you can afford to go to the movies, you can afford to go th to to see theater. Second, what if it's bad? I mean, what if it's just bad? I don't want to pay money to go and see crappy theater. Except it's probably not bad because there are all these award-winning playwrights coming into the city. And really, so what if it is bad? How often have you paid to go and see a bad movie? Because even if it's bad, you'll still like it. It's an evening of fun out with your friends. There's a bit of it that's entertaining. There's something about it that you like. I mean, if that's enough for movies, then why isn't it enough for theater? So I I can't be worried about whether or not it's bad. I, I saw Ghost Rider. I, I inflicted that on myself because I was with friends and I thought it would be a good time. And I had a really good time, even though it was a terrible movie. Seriously, don't ever watch that movie. Then I thought, well, maybe it's just not for me. I mean, maybe it's it's high art, or I, mean, I just don't get it, or it's too upper class for me to get a handle on it. It's full of posh drama douchebags. Maybe. You know, I, I... Maybe I just have this idea that I won't fit in there, or it'll look stupid if I, if I don't get it. But if anything, that means I need to go more. I mean, never let not fitting in keep you from doing something that you really want to. Unless that something is killing people. You should probably not do that. Um, but seriously, the only way it's ever going to be for me is if I go and learn how to make it for me. The only way they're ever going to see that they should make it for me if it isn't for me is if I'm there and people like me are there. That was very confusing, but if you go back, you will totally understand what I mean. So I'm going to go to the theater, and I don't need to find another reason why you should go to the theater. Theater will change you. That is it. That's what art does. Go to the theater, appreciate it, come out a slightly different person with a slightly different outlook, even if you don't get it, even if it doesn't sound appealing at all. Go in and just sort of sit there and take it in. But that's why I don't go to the theater, 
and why I'm going to. Now, last week, I put out a request. I said, here's a picture of my roommate's cupboard. I will sing anything from this cupboard. And you, Internet, are jerks. You see, this was my whole plan. I was like, well, somebody's going to pick a can of soup or a container of tea. And I'm not going to have to write a song this week. I'm just going to I'm just going to write music and sing the ingredients on the can and that'll be really cool and really fun and I still want to do that. But so I put out the call and I got a, a bunch of great suggestions and I actually I picked two of them. But they weren't nobody nobody suggested something in the cupboard that was an object in the cupboard like a grocery object or something. No, 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 no. Things like the little nubs that hold up the shelf. Or the funny little whisk thing on the bottom shelf. Or the apple slicer that I don't even think is an apple slicer, but my roommate is out of town, so I can't ask him what it actually is. I mean, I guess I could text him a picture of it, but it's much more fun to have him inform me afterward. I'll tell you later uh, what it is, because I don't think it's an apple slicer. So here, though, I wrote two songs, because you have outsmarted me this time, internet, but I will get you. Just you wait. This first one comes from Biss Kaner, who's a good friend of mine. And we used to host a podcast together, and he wanted me to sing about the little nubs underneath the sh that hold up the shelves. So that's a thing. Covered nibs, I think I love you. You support my life. You keep my Favorite coffee separate from my spice Without you, there'd be no shells for me It would be anarchy, you see I wrote this song to thank you for sweet efficiency Covered nymphs I think I love you, you support my life. You keep my favorite coffee separate from my spice. The other song is from Trevor, whose Twitter name is underscore is la guillot underscore. I don't actually know how to say it, uh, but it stands for It Seemed Like a Good Idea at the Time. He writes this awesome sort of uh, Canadian funny webcomic thing. He's, launch he's launching a new project. I'll put a link to it in the... I really got to come up with a word for this. I want to call it a doobly-doo because I've been watching a lot of Vlogbrothers and I want to say, oh, Link in the doobly-doo, but that's their thing. I got to find my own thing. I don't know. Link in the doobly-doo. One more thing. 
as always, and by as always, I mean we have one more of these left. Here's my smile. On Saturdays, I tutor this kid in English, and it's a lot of fun. I'm I'm not sure why I I gain so much pleasure out of out of teaching him, but he, he's a he's a really great learner. He's really fast, uh, and he's just got this passion for new ideas and writing that. I, I, I won't say that I don't have it, but I, sometimes I'm missing it, and he always sort of pushes me to, to do more. Anyway, that's all I've got for you this week. Absolutely check out Body 13. It's only in town for a week. I'll be at the Wednesday show, so if you want to see me, we can totally hang out before or after. So that's all I've got for you this week. Absolutely check out Body 13. It's going to be amazing. It's only in town for a week. I'll be at the Wednesday show, so if you want to hang out before or after, tweet me. Uh, you can also go to The Educated Imagination, which is the podcast that Biscayner and I did together, or check out Trevor's comic. It seemed like a good idea at the time. I will see you next week with new songs and new stuff. And yeah, bye.